This is Death Knight, one of the true endgame bosses in Primal Chaos. I have 100 days to survive, outwit, and overcome the challenges and colossal creatures that the island presents, all the while assembling forces worthy of taking on the mighty Death Knight. It all begins here, on the sandy shores of this prehistoric island. But there was no time to marvel at its beauty. I needed to get things rolling as quickly as possible. So, off I went in search of a few explorer notes that I knew were nearby to gain some quick levels. With many levels gained, I focused on equipping myself with the basic tools and weapons to get me through the next few days. The thing is, I was so involved with getting what I needed that I left my guard down for a second. And well, it almost ended badly for me. Holy smokes, that's not good. Oh, there's a car now. Oh, freak. My soul. No, 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 no. Wait, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> oh, where, where's, where's the turtle? Drop a debbies. I need you. Holy smokes, oh, we made that. Surviving the near-death experience, I quickly got myself together and continued working on getting the gear that I required, while at the same time dealing with some of the island's pesky little critters. Later that day, I braved the jungle to find more explorer notes for a boost in experience points. But if I don't, I'm just gonna have to... Oh, there it is. Oh, you... And found a cool, cozy spot to build a tiny shack to spend the night in. Day 2 started with me scouring the shores for beta tiered dinos. I wanted to farm these dinos as I noticed that I could craft a set of beta armor with their height. Fortunately, there were tons of these types of dinos nearby. These things are so slow. Come on! Yes, there we go. So sorry. But uh, you would have to go. And sure enough, I was able to craft the armor I set out to get. Alrighty, there we go. Looking rather snazzy, I see. Then it was off to tackle my next task. After gathering what was required, I was able to build a raft, something I could use to get around the map without getting eaten. There was also a purple drop that spawned nearby. I mean, I just had to give it a little look-see, and within its inventory, I found a few stone structures, a metal pig, and a few other things. However, this find prompted me to continue working on the raft. I swiftly gathered the necessary materials and completed the mobile raft base, adding some stone structures for reinforcement. Hey! Looks great. Perfect for my needs. Before moving out, I decided to kit my raft with some necessities, like the mortar and pestle and the chaos refining forge. For that, I required more height, so I went in search of an easy target. Not too far away, I spotted a parasaur that fitted the description perfectly, gaining the height for the forge. While I was busy with the parasaur, I spotted something intriguing and decided to take a closer look. Oh my soul. What is it? But is it... I don't know. It's not showing me. Why aren't you showing me? I need to know what this is. Done with the exploration bit of the day, I returned to the raft where I was able to craft the Chaos Refining Forge. Now, I just needed some metal to fill it up. Unfortunately, arriving at Far Peak, I noticed that a pack of aloes blocked the path to the good metal rocks. And there was no way I was about to take a chance running past those dinos. We should get metal from these river rocks. Yeah, let me just see. So, I took the safer route and went ahead with farming the river rocks at the shores of Fast Peak. Having collected the required metal, I got to craft the next item needed to progress through this mud, the Chaos Smithy. I then returned to my little shack area, where I found a few dodos that I was able to tame and led them back to my thatch shack for safekeeping. Oh yeah, I also tried my luck with taming a trike that was nearby. Well, while we wait for that trike to tame, let's give a big shout out to today's sponsor. Stunlock Studios. The long-awaited moment is finally here. V Rising has arrived. Get ready to immerse yourself in a vampire survival action RPG adventure like no other. Awaken from centuries of slumber and embark on a bloodthirsty quest your to reclaim your you. power. Rise from your crypt. Explore a vast, dark open fantasy world where you'll encounter humans, monsters, and the dreaded sunlight. Unleash your creativity as you construct your very own gothic castle, complete with a cozy coffin for a well-deserved rest 
after a long, sinful night. Whether you prefer going in solo or teaming up on co-op with friends, V Rising can suit your gameplay style. In a world of conflict, be the vampire who reigns supreme. Come forth, young vampire. V Rising is out now on Steam. The PlayStation 5 version is just around the corner. Check the links in the description below. Okay, I had no idea what happened, but when I went back to my thatch base to check up on things, it was like it never existed. Absolutely everything was gone. Even the dodos were missing. There wasn't any trace of what could have happened. All I knew at that point is that I couldn't stick around. I had to find another spot. Not before taming a muschops, of course. This little puppy would help me a whole lot with farming vegetation when the time came. From there, I decided to farm up some resources to extend my raft to make room for the dinosaurs that I had tamed. On my way to the next destination, I stopped at what seems like a chilled out space. Here, I spotted more dodos that I could tame to replace the ones I had lost. And then, I continued working on expanding my raft. On day 5, I finally reached the location I had in mind. It seemed perfect for this mud. I mean, I had protection all around with just a small opening for diners to get through. It was simply amazing. Though, there was no time to chill. I had to get things going. Luckily, I prepped a few things to get me started. I began setting up some crop plots and hooking up the watering system. Then, I swiftly sailed off to Herbivore Island where I found a Pheomia that I trapped and tamed for its pooping ability and took down an Alpha Pteranodon that I mistakenly aggroed by getting too close to it and then finished off the day by farming the metal rocks I found on Herbivore Island. Back at base, I got to work on my new poop machine for fertilizer to add to my crop plots and, of course, added the seeds for the specific crops that I required. From there, I went ahead collecting resources to work on a small base for the next two days. I started off wanting to build a simple box type base kitted out with all of the necessary crafting station. But as I went on, I decided to build something a little more elaborate, incorporating a second level for extra space and a cool roof design to finish things off. I also added some wooden structures for a touch of color. By day 8, I was able to craft some beta kibble, so it was time to start working on the next tier of dinos. After preparing some gear, I made my way to Herbivore Island, where I knew I could find a few easy tames. Reaching Herb Island, I spotted a beta parasol right away and quickly gave chase as I trapped it with a bowler and knocked it out. However, Screebariba Cams here left the freaking kibble at base. Just great! I had to travel back there just to get the darn kibble. Then, I made the trip all the way back to Herb Island just to feed the parasol. Well, the good news is, I was able to get the parasol tame. Even better news, I found a second parasol, which was female and a mate for the first one I got. It was exactly what I wanted, so I just had to tame it. This would allow me to start farming beta eggs for alpha kibble. There was also a loot drop that spawned in while I was at the island. It had some pretty neat stuff and these items will come in very handy soon. I did say the loot would come in handy. You see, there's a really cool station that lets you salvage resources from the items that you pick up. It's a great way to get some of the hard to get material early on. And that's how I was able to get the awesome spyglass. With that out of the way, I proceeded to prepare Alpha Kibble to tame some Alpha Dinos. Fortunately, there were plenty of Alpha Dinos around, specifically Alpha Dodos. A bowler and some tranks helped me tame the first Dodo that I found. The best part was that I could ride these types of Dodos and they were pretty Pretty fast. Not too far away from the first dodo that I tamed was another alpha dodo. It was great finding a mated pair as it would help speed up egg production. It turns out this darn setting was preventing me from seeing level 600 dino. Anyways, I was off looking for my first flyer and not too far off I spotted an alpha pteranodon. It wasn't anywhere close to level 600 but I guess it was a start and I couldn't wait any longer trying to find higher levels. I had to tame it and luckily I was able to trap it with a bowler and not it out. From there, I fed it the kibble and tamed the bugger. There was also another Alpha Tyranodon in the area, and I thought I'd try to tame that one too. So, let's see if we can get it. Stop you from landing. I mean, going. Oh! Beautiful! <laughs> Beauty! Okay. Now we just have to try and get it from here. There you go. No. Yes, there we go. 
Finally! Oh, you bet. Now that I had a mated pair of Alpha Tyranodons, I had to start breeding them to get the best stats out of the pit, as well as a few backups. While waiting for my Tyranodons to breed, I decided to tackle my egg production issue. At the time, I had to collect the eggs manually, but in crafting this structure, the egg collector would help collect eggs automatically and store them in one place. It was a must have for this mod. Later that day, I proceeded to hatch one of the eggs that I obtained and went out to farm some raw meat for the baby Tyranodon. Done. Day 12, I rocked up with a full set of Thak armor as I continued with breeding my Tyranodon. Then there was the need for oil and crystal, so it is off to the snow biome. Upon reaching the snow, I realized I wasn't properly equipped to deal with its effects. I was extremely cold and losing health rapidly. I had to work quickly to gather as much oil as possible. While doing so, I stumbled upon something interesting. A guardian boss that I would have to face later on to progress. Holy smokes! What the actual freak is that, bro? What? What is this? Volcanic Guardian Bus. For melee? Holy smokes. However, I couldn't waste time admiring the bus. I had other things to do, like trying not to attract any of the wild creatures that were in the area while collecting crystals. After obtaining a few SCS containers to store my dinos, I decided to go ahead to hatch some of the Tyranodon eggs that I had. Uh, woman six, what do you have here, buddy? All right, not too bad. We shall keep you, I guess. But hey, you got 91 here. Surely. Oh boy. Yeah, it wasn't my finest moment, but for some reason, I wanted to tame a Hydro Spino. Come on. Why isn't it following me? Here it comes. Here it comes. Where you going to, sir? Come this way! Well, that didn't turn out so good. I did, however, find a Tapahara that I thought would be an easy tame, but that too didn't go the way I expected. Where is it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Darn you! I didn't give up though. I told myself I couldn't go back to base empty handed. That's when I came across this beauty. A level 220 Alpha Tyranodon. Not the greatest. It was a higher level than the ones I had. Well, I just need to go and get it some uh, kibble. Go down, buddy. Go down. Nah, one more. There we go. Brilliant. Considering I had just tamed a higher level Tyranodon, I had to add it to the breeding mix. I wasn't too clued up about the breeding process. All I knew was that I wanted birdies with the best stats that I had. And of course, getting a few extras just in case things went south. This is the father. The mother will be laid to rest because <laughs> we don't need that now. I also decided to hatch a few eggs later on to see what I would get. On day 16, I decided to go out and try some old school Quetzal taming. From the get-go, everything seems to be going well. I knew how to tame these creatures using this sort of method. And I felt I was in charge of the situation. It seems like nothing could go wrong until I freaking messed up. Fortunately, I don't give up that easily. I kept on trying, kept on tranking the Quetzal and tried my best to kite it away from the swamp and red woods as these locations were known to be dangerous spots. However, when it was safe to trank the Quetzal again, I totally forgot to keep track of things and ran out of trank arrows. Oopsie! So, I had to return to base to craft a few more. I was back at it for the third time around. I could not give up now. It was so close to being mine. I continued tranking the Quetzal as its torpor came kept rising, inching ever closer to its breaking point, when finally I sent in the arrow that finished the job. I had knocked it out and raced to where it landed. At first glance, my heart just sank as a Kano and Sabertooth stood over my Quetzal. Luckily, I was able to take care of this Sabertooth. As for the Kano, it sort of lost interest and attacked something else. I then swiftly made my way to secure the tame, feeding it the kibble it required and bagging a real cool dino. 
My next mission was to get a station that would help me in the long run. But first, I needed to farm a few items, a couple of loot drops and some pearls. Though, getting pearls proved to be a bit of a challenge. Dealing with the nearby creatures and the weather effects was more than I could handle. Same thing be on a one-way trip to the netherworld. After that short visit to the other side, I was back at it, collecting as much loot and resources as I could find. Continuing my efforts on the next task, I returned to base where I was able to craft a fabricator and finally get some of the awesome teleporter items. Then, I was off once again to Herbivore Island, where I sought after dinos that would help me collect resources faster. Thankfully, a rather decent level beta Anki was spotted and put to sleep without much trouble, then tamed with a kibble I had on hand. As I was about to leave the island, the unthinkable happened. I freaking found a level 460 alpha Tyranodon with 17k HP. I would have been foolish to let this go. So, of course, I had to tame it as well. It was an early morning start to the day as I went to farm metal with my newly tamed beta Anki, grabbing some crystal while I was at it. Back at base, I had an unexpected visitor. There wasn't much I could do other than try my best to hide myself with a few behemoth gates. Not wanting to let my visitor bother me too much, I occupied myself with prepping some taming gear for an upgrade that was spotted on the map. Alrighty, it was time to upgrade to the elemental tier and tame my first ever electric griffin. There you go. You think it looks good? There it is. Oh, Griffy Griff, come on. Alright, 1000. Okay. Okay. Is it trapped? I really hope so. I'm gonna try and uh, drink it. There we go. This should uh, do it or get close enough. There we go. That's it. Awesome. Sweet. Alright, buddy. We uh, just need one of these. And we teamed our Griffin. Yes. This is a little trick that I picked up while playing the Primal Fear mod. Anyways, using this Super Cryo mod and the Chainsaw, I was able to get a ton of hide and blood, which helped me prep up for my next big tame. Oh yeah, the Electric Rex, baby. To be honest, it wasn't difficult to tame now that I had a griffin. I just chilled on its back and tranked the Rex whenever I had the opportunity to do so. What's even better was that the Rex somehow got itself stuck between rocks, allowing me the time and space to knock it out without breaking making a sweat, bagging the first piece of the puzzle to take on the guardian bosses. As the tribe was growing, I knew I needed a bigger space for all of my things. I couldn't go anywhere else as it was far too dangerous and the only other option was to use the space that I had and make something out of it. That's what I decided to do. However, I needed some help with gathering the materials that were required. Over at Herbivore Island, I found the dino that would surely help me with the tasks ahead. All I had to do was tame it and then exploit its amazing ability to collect tons of stone with its powerful bulldozer-like tail. With the help of my Dodicarus, the production of stone structures were sped up quite a bit and things were moving pretty smoothly. By day 24, I completed the first round of upgrades to the base. There was surely a whole lot more to come. There was also another electric griffin spotted on the map that I had to try to tame. It was a tricky one to say the least. That's why I need this guy. I can uh, start breeding them and get the elemental tracks. Oh frick if I, if I freaking get it. One more shot. One more shot. Night tonight, buddy. Ah, uh, what? Oh no, mate. What the freak? Uh, team in progress. No, man. The freak is wrong with this. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. It's all or nothing. Well, it seems to be there. Yeah. Is this the griffin? How the freak did you get down here, man? Oh, freak. We're underwater and I'm scared. Okay, okay. Is it... Are you gonna die or what? I'm just trying to shoot you. Oh. Freak. 
And of course, having a mated pair of electric griffins, I decided to start breeding them to get a griffin with some decent stats and that imprint buff just to help out a little. I also tried farming the extra griffins that I had for their hide and blood, but it seemed that they had an issue. Nothing too crazy though, I figured out how they worked eventually. On day 26, I found another electric rex on the map and boy was it a juicy level. Oof, 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 almost there. Seems like... Oh! No, 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 I don't want you to go too far. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. One more, one more. Hey, you snuck out! Hey, yo, let's go! In order to start auto-breeding my Rexes, I required some electronics. The best way at the time was to find underwater pearl caves. Okay, cool. I see it. Oh, there we go. I see it, I see it, I see it! Oh, there we go. <gasps> my freaking soul, yes! Is, is this oil as well? All right. Um, let me place down my... Uh... Ooh, look at this pearls. Juicy pearls. Let's go ahead and grab some of uh, these uh, juicy oil notes. Back at base with a haul of pearls and some other resources, I proceeded to prepare a few items to start the auto breeding process. I then went ahead searching for another pearl cave to prepare for one of the most important workstations. I continued breeding my Rexes with a new female with better stats and decided to test things out against the Hydro Guardian with the unwanted Rexes that were bred. Go ahead and attack him. Let's just see what you guys can do and what this buddy can do to us. Okay. Whoa, dude. Whoo wee. What kind of that? 62k? And we did like, um, what? 300... 300k? While waiting for my Rexes to breed, I thought I'd carry on preparing for that workstation I spoke about. This time, farming a whole bunch of resources, from metal and obsidian to crystals at the heart of the volcano, and then moved over to the snow for some oil. I still had to wait for the metal to smelt, so I went with hatching some of the fertilized eggs that I got from breeding my Rexes, as well as a loot run for those juicy loots. These loot runs weren't just for fun, they had a purpose, you can trust me on that. After all that farming and grinding, I was fine finally able to craft the workstation I wanted. A freaking grinder. I mean, just look at this beast and all of the resources it can get for me just by grinding the loot I find. This thing is simply freaking amazing. I kicked off the day by crafting a couple of healing potions for my dinos. Then I worked on upgrading the saddles for my Rexes, for which I had a good supply of resources to make a couple of upgrades. After that, I took out one of my Rexes to see what it could do and to experiment with a few things. I needed to figure out a way to level up my entire army. Since I had quite a number of Rexes, going out and shredding dinos wasn't an option. However, I did find some cool loot from taking out some of the high tier dinos. You wouldn't believe it, but I remembered a nifty way to level up my dinos. I decided to give it a shot and see if it would work here. Using the spear rexes in storage, I sacrificed them using the QOL multi-tool while on the back of the rex I wanted to level. And boom, it worked like a charm. I found a way to power level my army. I also went about leveling my griffin using the same method with the leftover rexes. Then armed with my improved and beefier electric griffin, I eventually out to hunt down low level legendary dinos aiming to harvest them for a better set of flak armor. As my rexes were busy auto breeding I took the opportunity to scout for more loot drops and challenged some high tier dinos to see what treasures they held. Can grab this too. Why not? Come on buddy. Jeez. Man, it lowered my uh, damage here. Taking 4k damage, almost down. Hey, yo! Returning to the base with a ton of resources from the loot run, I proceeded to upgrade the Rex saddles a few more times. Over the next few days, I dedicated my efforts to leveling up my Rex army, preparing them for the first Elemental Guardian showdown. Move out the way, fella! 
Five Rexes for each. Let's see how far we can go with this. There you go. You got 57. I also decided to go for another loot run while I waited for more Rexes to breed. After that, I focused on leveling up the remaining Rexes that needed training. Here we go, peeps! It is time to put my Rexes to the test as they face off against the Hydro Guardian. Attack that fool! Come on! Go! What are you waiting for? Go, 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 go! Is everybody on there? Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Let's take out the strikers here. Alright. It's looking good. Oof. Big taking damage. One million. 1 1.4. How's my Rexus doing? 500 HP, 400. Oh, sunny. Oh, they almost got it. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't die. Oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. And he died. Oh, just great. Well, I sort of had a crazy idea. I know different elemental dinos can be weaker or stronger than others, but it wouldn't hurt to test things out. See what they do with this one. Go, buddies. Let's see what happens here. Go there, man. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, let's see what kind of damage they do. 1.2 million. Are we taking? Are we taking? Oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. I don't know. We, we, we're good. We're good? Yeah. Let's send in some reinforcements. Come on. Go. Attack. Attack. Go, buddies. We're almost done. Come on. Yes. Yeah. So I had to fight the boss again. And yep, we did win the fight. But you won't believe what happened next. Yeah. I freaking crashed again. I guess the third time's the charm, right? 400k. Want to get closer. There we go. That's what we need. <gasps> oh! Did our Rexes die? I see one that... No, no. They really bloody down. Oh, mate. On day 39, I opted to take on the challenge of taming the Elemental Guardian. Um, 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 calculations. Let me just see. Yeah, we could just make it. Just chill, buddy. Well, that is going to be a very... Oh, jeez. I need to get a bit higher. Alrighty. Here we go. It's time to come to us. Pop 8, 1.6. There you go. One, one more for the ship. A tameable version. There you go, mate. Have that. There you go. So wait. What you got here? 300 and uh, 65k. Let's see what kind of damage you do, mate. 2000. It was time to start working on some of the other elemental leg layers. For the hydro dinos, I decided to tame a mated pair of carbon emmys, figuring they were the easiest to find and tame. But then, with some time on hand, I went after a low level volcanic raptor found on the map. Yeah, I know it's male and all, but it was just the first half of the puzzle. It turned out that the turtles didn't really work out, so I wanted to try a different angle and tamed a female Hydro Rex spotted on the map, hoping that this would do the trick. Additionally, I tamed a female Volcanic Raptor to complete the Volcanic Elemental set. Back at base, I set my Electric Rexes to breed extra Rexes 
for XP purposes. Great news! I found a way to fix the hydro and volcanic egg issue. That was done by simply chucking the dinos into the SES terminal. Anywho, I then focused on putting up some greenhouse structures, but that too had its own problems. It seemed as though the greenhouse was built in the wrong spot. The overlapping cliff didn't allow for the greenhouse buff. Oh well, I guess it was off to farming some loot. Oh man, you wouldn't believe it, but I spotted something super cool. A freaking max level volcanic death worm. There was no hesitation. I had to go after it. Sitting comfortably at the back of my griffin, I tried my best to knock it out. However, at some point, I got a little too close to the bugger and ended up in flames. Not to worry though, we were still in a good position. And to top things off, I sort of got the death worm trapped. After a couple of tranks, the creature was off to sleep and I returned to base to grab the kibble recorder. Quiet. Arriving back at the location, the dreaded glitch happened again. Yeah, I had to go back to base to pick up my scuba gear. Unfortunately, this time the creature was out of my reach. Just my freaking luck. So, it was back to leveling my Rexes. With a few new recruits on hand, I needed to get them ready for the Volcanic Guardian. I had no idea if they could even take it on, but I thought I had to give it a shot and find out. To summon the Volcanic Guardian, I had to hunt down a few Volcanic Dinos for their hide in order to craft the summoning token. Once I obtained all the hide required, I spent the rest of the day farming more loot from the supply drops to stock up my resources at base. Okay, I guess we're ready to take on the Volcanic Guardian. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go, but uh, it's time, it is time. Oof, here we go. Three melee. Attack, please! Oh my soul! Come on, come on, come on, come on, you guys got this. 2 8. Oh! Jeez! Bro skis! Oh, what is going on here? 3 melee! Oh, and I'm on fire too! Oof, oof! Oof, oof! No, 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 not me. I don't want my stuff to die here. Now, where you going? Go help your brother. Brethren! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we got this. We still got plenty of uh, rixes to go. Go, 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 boys. Yes! There we go! Wait! We got the, we got the freaking, oh, son, we got it, we got it, oh, yes. On day 47, I started working on the next tier of required dinos. First on my list was the fairy Argentavis, which I had no issue taming. And well, I sort of got sidetracked when I spotted a high level death worm close by. Shadow Gorilla, I want to tame this volcanic death worm here. She almost got it. One, one more? Should do the trick or is it done? Hey, there we go. I then continued working on the next tier of egg layers. This time, taming a female fairy Argentavis. While I was at it, I stumbled upon a female death worm and was a bit curious to see if I could breed these types of creatures. So I went ahead and tamed that one too. We good? Yes! Sadly, it turned out that you couldn't breed them. What a shame. Yeah, there's no options for you to breed. So this is a waste. To finish things off, I tamed a mated pair of shadow turkeys. One shot. This is all you needed. That's brilliant. There you go. Lights up, buddy. Oh yeah, peeps. We've reached the halfway mark. And I thought I'd do something cool for this momentous day. Yeah, taming a volcanic dragon should do. Oof. Jeez. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Okay, okay, it's gone. It's uh, accurate on something else, so it's good. Oh man, come on, games. We just tank. Come on. There we go. Oh, the Yankee's tanking for us. And we, we got it? Nice. Thank you, please, please, just... Oh, you got enough health. We just need to connect. Never mind. Go for the Yankee. Go for the Yankee. Oh, not me. 
Not me! Not me, you freaking thing! Oh man. Jeez. Wait, wait, wait. There's two here. There you go, buddy. Oh, it's almost dead. What? No freaking way! How? A mythic Anki took out my freaking... Uh, we don't want to mess with this, huh? Alrighty, so I didn't want to go empty-handed. There is another volcanic dragon. It's a low level, but uh, at least we get to see what he can do. Um, <laughs> I almost don't want to tame it because it's so level, but what can we do? There you go. No. What's going on? Is it out already? No. I'm confused. W what is going on here? Do I... No, it is down. Okay. Good to know, buddy. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's up now. Hey, yo. We got the freaking dragon. Alright, it was about time to work on a bigger base for myself and my dinos. I'd been putting it off for quite a while. Because, to be honest, I just didn't feel like doing it. But it had to be done. Space was limited, so I had to come up with something special. To get a better perspective, I laid down as many seedings as I could for the foundation and mapped out the area with a couple of walls. I had no clue what I was doing, but I kept going with the flow, hoping that something beautiful would come out of this chaos. By day 53, I started to feel like I was making progress with the base, although I still wasn't 100% sure how I would bring it all together. There was a slight glimmer of hope that this would turn out to be something amazing. Without further ado, here is my final base. I think it turned out pretty decent considering the space available. I mean, I have a huge workshop area for all of my workstations, a place to breed my dinos which could easily fit in a rex, and amazing views of Herbivore Island. To me, it was perfect with everything I needed, although I still had to finish off a few bits and bobs here and there. After spending a few days at the base, I felt the need to get some fresh air. So, I worked on taming the next tier of egg layers. I didn't want to make things complicated, which is why I went for the easiest option and tamed a pair of legendary Tyranodons. Sayonara, baby! Alrighty, there's the other one. It is... Level 80. Again, just one... Kibble and probably one shot. Yeah. Sweet. The legendary is sorted. Then, I tried my luck with taming a fairy pegasus. But that didn't really go so well for me. Let's go. I want to tame, but I have to uh, take it away from there because there's a demonic Reaper Queen, which I don't want to get into an entanglement with. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, frick. I mean, it's doing some crazy damage here. From there, I went to tame a mated pair of mythic Pteranodons to complete my collection of high tier egg layers. We have the Pteranodon female. There we go. Beauty shot! Where is your kibble? And welcome to the tribe, mate. You lose aggro so quickly. Mate. Here you go, my friend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I finally tackled the big move. The new base wasn't too far away, but there were just so many things that needed to be transferred and sorted. It kind of made me dread the whole moving process. It had to be done though, so I pushed onwards and upwards, adding a few new workstations into the mix and fixing up the base with a few finishing touches. Oh yeah, considering I was working at the base, I felt inspired to build a new greenhouse for myself, one that would actually work this time around. My next mission was to upgrade my army of boss fighting dinos, and the only legendary dino that seemed like a viable option was the Allosaurus. Well, it was quite a high level. Yes, 863 top war for an aloe. Oh my soul. Okay, can you bite me? Let me see what you do. 
bites me. 4K. Chase. But you do have the bleed effect, so I don't know how good that is. Come here. Put it. Oh. One more. One more. Come on. Yep. There we go. The yellow is down, son. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. After capturing the yellow, I took the opportunity to test out my griffin's strength against a really tough opponent. It's a 640. Oh! I wish I could tame this thing. Why? Oh, why is it not tameable? Why? Yeah! Let's try and take it on, man. Can we do like 10k to it? Hello, buddy! What's up? I'm just trying to check out my uh, griffin if it's up to standard here. Almost there! Just a few more! I can't even see what's going on. It's crazy! Hey, there we go! The woman! She's dead! Additionally, I taped a mate for the yellow that I already had. And a couple more. Oh, so these Meganeras are helping me a ton here. Oh! <laughs> Last minute dodge. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. I also went after a mythic snow owl that I found on the map. Just need to let it uh, de aggro and then we can go in for another shot. Hey, buddy. Beauty. What a beauty looking animal. Now that I had a mated pair of aloes, the breeding process began. One thing was for sure, this was going to be a long one, as I needed some really strong fighters for the upcoming battles. Also, to see where I stood with these aloes and what they could do, I decided to test one of them out. I leveled it up a few times and then took it out for a spin. Oh yeah, we dished out a whole lot of butt whooping as we shredded everything in sight. And I was starting to get an idea of what these legends could do. Done with messing around, it was back to the breeding grind and taking care of a few small things. Okay, so I didn't know much about breeding as it wasn't something I was interested in. However, after doing some research, I realized I had no idea what I was doing. I hated this part, but I decided to start over and build some extra space to try to organize stuff with my new breeding strategy. One more thing, I added in the better breeding mod to help out a bit. Here's the thing, while I was out and about, I spotted a nightmare carno and wanted to test things out with a few spare aloes. Let's see what these guys can do without any levels, saddles, anything like that. Go, attack him. Let's see what happens. 16k, oh lord. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, 457,000. Afterward, I went ahead to grab some loot from the supply drops to help with crafting good saddles for my aloe army. What do we need for saddles for them? Um, what kind of resources? I think metal. All right, looking rather juicy. Couple of metal from here. Nice. Let's grab this. Yeah, I wasn't up for the whole breeding mutation game of chance thing. Besides, it was taking way too long. I probably wouldn't have made it if I had continued down that path. So, I decided to go with what I had. Of course, it was now time to start the whole leveling process. It took a few days to do, as I had quite a few aloes and had to breed a ton of sacrificial rexes. Call me crazy, but there was a small little voice inside telling me that I should take a chance. I don't know how he's gonna end up, but uh, I'm just gonna go for it. There we go. Spawned in the Nightmare Raptor. Now, how are we gonna go about doing this thing? <laughs> Holy smokes. 408 million HP. I don't even want to get off my aloe. In case it sees me. I just want to see what kind of damage we do. 
All right. Okay, you guys go first. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. You guys stay passive here. No, no. Wait, wait. You guys stay passive. Stay. Oh, you got me. Yo, bro, I'm too scared to go down there. Hey, yo. Come here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, too close that. Come on. There we go, buddy. I think this is my strat, bro. Look at this. We're doing crazy amounts of damage to it. 50 million a pop we can do. Just don't die. Just <laughs> don't die. Almost there. Boom, son. Let's go! Here's the crazy part. To get the rocket launcher to tame demonics, I had to first kill some to obtain their blood. Well, I guess it's now or never, Pete. Oh, dude. Look at this. I can't even get close to it. The frick I'm gonna take it out. Oh my show. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah. This is it. This is it, yo. Oh. <laughs> 4.7 melee. Okay. Okay. I understand. <laughs> Jeez, man. This thing is a uh, crazy fight. There you go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, my goodness. 3.6. Damn, son. You can't waste these shots, mate. Freak. Hey, yo. One more and it would have been uh, wrecked. Yes, there we go, mate. Ah, sweet. Alrighty, so I think I'm all done with these demonics for today. <laughs> In need of more resources from Nightmare Dinos, I resorted to farming a few raptors. Uh, wait. I'm so scared. Do not want to mess anything up here. I think so. Oh, there we go. And here the battle begins. Chase. This uh, raptor does some crazy damage, man. Hey, look at that, I'm almost like halfway. Oh, there we go. First of many. Let's go down. Couple of melees left. And here she goes. I also attempted to take on a nightmare trike, which almost ended tragically. Almost. Guess it's worth a try, huh? I'm so scared to get too close to it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Not good. Not good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that one can climb. This one's not doing that much damage to us, though. The bleed damage is doing uh, more damage than me, actually. Imagine this strike fell into our base. <laughs> oh, jeez. That would be uh, interesting. To say the least. I think we can do more trikes. Uh, I need to do the uh, rage buff thing in my Bobsy. Alrighty. We're coming in to the end game here. 30 melee. Okay, never mind. 19. We're in the teens. Ready to take this down. Come here, where are you running off to, buddy? Hey, there we go. One melee. Sayonara, baby. We farmed a few more nightmare trikes for the required resources, since they were easier to take down. Finally, I was able to craft the demonic rocket launcher, and it was time to tame my first demonic dino. Cheers, mate. Gonna be needing a whole lot of rockets for this one. 
Just got to be careful. There we go. That one connected. Nice. There we go. Our first demonic. Let's go. Yo. I'm so stoked. There we go. Look at this. Brilliant. Fortunately, there was a female nearby. It is a female. Oh, brilliant. I'm going after it. <laughs> Take it easy, mate. Oh, come on. Oh, that was nice. Nice. Oh, one more. One more in your house. Don't you dare run away. What the... Not the best here. Still something. There you go. Oh, you bet. I started breeding my demonic Dillos on day 76 and continued for the next few days. I focused on getting a good set of breeders, hatched a small army of demonic terrors, and got a few extra Dillos to farm demonic blood. Considering I had a really OP Dillo, I thought I'd try to take on the Nightmare Kano again. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna try and take this out. What? There's only 10k. Oh, jeez. This is going to be a long fight in my... Uh... <laughs> now we're like only half... Not even halfway. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, if we were fighting something more powerful... Holy smokes. We're at uh, 40 melee on the Kano. It is like... I think we were fighting about 10 minutes now. Jeez. This thing took forever. But come on, mate. We're almost there. The Carlo. It's going down soon. It's gone. Woo. That was uh, one heck of a struggle. After it, I went ahead to farm Nightmare Trikes for saddles with my legendary Allo, as I found it did a better job than the demonic Dillo. Woo. That was close. I mean, look at that. This is doing so much better than uh, the demonic dillo it's gonna take half the time hey yo it's almost down literally in less than half the time it took to take out the kana with the dillo so the trike is almost done and i'm using the freaking legendary allo this is madness insane i tell you what a beauty let's go Sayonara, baby! Guess what? I spotted a freaking demonic reaper on the map. Yeah, man. I had to try to tame that beast. Let's get this one. Um, it's a female. Jeez. Right. Gets to be very careful with it. Know what it can do. What damage it can do. I do not want to find out. How? How am I going to hit it? It's so fast. Just going to wait for it to stop, I guess. Please stop. There you go. I will do it. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Could you please stay still? I'm just uh, giving it a go here. Oh, nice. Oh, he... crazy little thing. Uh, where you going, buddy? Jeez, it's just too darn fast. Yeah, come on. Get that! We need to find out a strategy here. Oh, wait, 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 yo. Oh, I missed my opportunity. You know, this freaking griffin. If it could work properly. Oh! <laughs> hey, yo, bro. How the frick do we. Oh, we got it. We got it. Yeah, buddy! Oh. Hey, there we go. Wait, we knocked out? <laughs> How the freak did we get knocked out? The Reaper's not... No is it knocked out? No! Oh! How am I still alive? Hey, yo, wait, 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 wait! Am I gonna survive this? Oh, yes. Shell shocker. We had like 30-something. The Reaper is still a... How?
luck. Just my freaking luck, peeps. Unfortunately, that meant either the Reaper despawned or hadn't spawned yet. Either way, I lost it. Rip! So, uh, yeah, I, I can't be asked. I'm gonna have to try another day. Because, uh, oh, that's just painful. The good thing is I got all of my rockets back. So I can try again. Bad thing is I have to wait for another Reaper to spawn in. Well, we tried. The next day, I went out searching for another demonic reaper to tame, visiting all the spots where I had seen those reapers. Sadly, there was none to be found. There weren't any reapers around, but during my search, I was lucky enough to stumble upon a demonic furox. Let's try and tame this big bad girl. Hey, buddy. Oh, please. I hope you... Uh, easier to tame than the reaper. Yep, buddy. Nighty night, little buddy. Hey, yo, let's go. I still had a bit of time left, so I decided to continue the search for the elusive demonic reaper, visiting every known reaper location again and again, hoping that darn creature would spawn in. There were still no reapers to be found on the map, so I shifted my focus to more pressing issues, acquiring the rest of the nightmare tokens for the final boss encounter. This included the Rex, the UT, a Spino, and the Dodo Reaper to take down. I was back on the search for a demonic reaper. I found out that it spawns off of an aloe spawn, which gave me more locations to scope out for the reaper. I still wasn't able to find that darn reaper, but I did spot a nightmare spino. I wanted to give my legendary aloe a chance against it, and boy, did it freaking shred. I was now at the final leg of this 100 day challenge, with just a few more tasks to complete. During my journey, I found a demonic gorilla that I was able to tame and add it to my boss fighting army. I continued the search for a demonic reaper for a day or two. Finally, on day 95, I spotted a reaper and proceeded to tame it. Well, let's hope everything goes well here. Oh, frick, how you doing? Oof. That was a direct shot. I'm right here. Wee! Jeez! Oh no 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 no! Holy smokes! <laughs> Easy. Holy smokes! We don't want to get too close to that. Ah, oh, broskies! That's it. That should be it. Where are you? <laughs> We freaking got a reaper! Uh, I can't believe it. We got the freaking reaper down. After days and days and days and days of looking for one. So what's that? Hey yo, that's old good. I spent these days farming nightmare dinos for XP potions and saddles for my small army of demonic dillos. Then, prepared a few things for the upcoming boss battle. At the current state of the game, the Death Knight was the ultimate challenge. And at last, my friends, it is time to face the Death Knight. Now, for this part of the game, we have the Death Knight. I'm sure more will come in. I'm not sure... How to go about doing this thing, but uh, I guess just going for it will do. I'm going to try and get it stuck somewhere and see uh, what kind of damage we can do to it. Oof, there it is, there it is. Oh, don't get out. That will be bad news, buddy. Oh, come on, guys. There you go. I'm moving in. Oof. No. Wait, 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 yo, 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 we got a miss. Oh, well, I don't know if his health reset or what, but, uh, yeah, nothing seemed to happen there. I don't know how to take this thing on. Um, let me try from far. There we go. That's the spot. One billion HP is crazy in 25 minutes. I don't think we can get it down like that. Uh, maybe send in some aloes from here. Ooh, aloes. Just, would you just go, buddy? Oh, wow. Duchess! is still alive! How the freak? It's cool, son! 
Oh my freaking soul peeps, we're like halfway there. Oh, just under. I think you can do this. I don't know what the Dillos are doing, but they sure doing crazy amounts of damage. I think, I just think we might make this one. I don't, I have no idea what they are doing. Oh, there we go. Dillo is down. Almost there. <gasps> 28 freaking million. And the battle is on, buddies. Where will we go? Brutus, we need some uh, health here. Let's push in. The last push. The last freaking push. Let's go. 25 million. Oh, we going. It's going down. 16 million. 10. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey, there we go, bros. 